everyone, and welcome to Beats Research Radio, a podcast and YouTube channel dedicated to communicating research and science to the community. My name is Nicole Chu, and today we have a very special guest, Madura Rao. Madura is a PhD candidate in the food and law Uh, food law and policy at the Food Claims Center Venlo of Maastricht University in the Netherlands. Through her research, she explores topics such as food safety and quality, food safety legislation, and private governance in creating new products from food waste. Thanks for joining us today, Madura. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So to start off, do you mind explaining us some uh, current research projects you are working on? Yes, of course. So my current research projects uh, focus on food waste valorization, which means creating value out of food that is seen as surplus or unwanted. I do this from the perspective of food law and policy. An example of a very interesting project that I'm currently working on is um, called the Interreg uh, Sustainable and Natural Bystreams which is a collaboration between food producers in the Netherlands and Germany. So these producers came together to collaborate with experts from universities and the industry from both countries. And what they want to do is create healthy, innovative products from their buy streams, such as fruit peels or vegetable pulp. So those are the kind of projects that I'm working on at the moment. Oh, so you mentioned a big part of your research is food waste valorization. So for our listeners who may not be so familiar, could you explain what this concept is and how it relates to sustainability and food safety, maybe? Yes, of course. So uh, food waste valorization means creating value out of food that is seen as surplus or unwanted and that is likely to end up as waste if uh, nothing is done with it. And this is rooted in the concept of circular economy, which means uh, moving away from a linear way of consumption, which is production, consuming and then discarding and moving towards a circular way of consuming, which means trying to retain material and resources in the system once they're in it for as long as possible. And I work with creating new food products from um, surplus food, but valorization can also mean a lot of other things, such as uh, sending surplus to animal feed or extracting valuable biological compounds from this Uh, surplus, or even creating sustainable energy from it. So um, that's what I do. And uh, this issue is important at the moment because um, as we speak, one third of all food that is produced on the planet ends up as waste, which is around 1.3 billion tons of food every year. And at the same time, we have 30% of the population which lives with food insecurity, which means that they don't have access to safe and sufficient food. So when these two extremes exist at the same time, it means that uh, the current way of producing and consuming food is not sustainable. And we need to move towards a system that can take care of our current needs as well as the needs of the growing population and the generations that are to come. So despite uh, all the progress that's been made in science and technology and supply chain management, there's always some amount of food that is surplus. And what happens with this surplus food is that businesses often discard it And it's not that they do this because they don't care about food waste, but this is done because there isn't a legal or logistical infrastructure that can take care of distributing this surplus food in a manner that's safe. So that's where I come in. I try to uh, collect data and analyze this data Uh, focusing on what policy measures enable businesses to valorize their food and what policy measures create barriers for this kind of valorization. Oh, I see. So your your research definitely plays a big role and has a big potential in food sustainability. So uh, changing the topic 
right now. But definitely food sustainability has a big has been a hot topic in social media with the rise of vegan diets and everyone trying to live more sustainably to minimize food waste. But what do you think, apart from efforts being done like on the individual public level, what do you think business legislators or government can do to minimize the amount of food being wasted? I really like this question because what I usually get is what can consumers do to reduce food waste? So the discourse around food waste is almost always centered around consumer responsibility. But the thing with this issue is that it's multifaceted and it needs cooperation from anyone who's involved with producing, selling, consuming food. So as individuals, we should, of course, uh, purchase and consume food in a rational and sustainable way. But it doesn't end at that. We also need to hold businesses that we buy from and public representatives that we elect. uh, We need to hold them accountable for uh, what they're doing about their surplus food and policies that dictate what happens with surplus food. As you said, that sustainability in the food system has been a hot topic. So there's been a lot of promises at um, the governmental level. So in Europe recently, there was a bill called uh, the Green Deal, which looks at um, achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and so many other things. And these promises sound really good on paper, but they also need to be achieved uh, in practice. So what uh, legislators can do is ensure that there's cohesion between various policy areas. So it's not enough to simply make a policy saying that food waste needs to be reduced. Um, They need to look at a lot of other correlated areas such as um, waste management, uh, agriculture, fisheries, food safety. So there definitely needs to be better cohesion between these policy areas. And there also needs to be a lot of um, investment to ensure that businesses who want to um, make better use of their surplus have the means to do so. And uh, regarding businesses as well, um, it is very possible for private businesses to come together and share knowledge and resources regarding how their surplus can be better utilized. And um, yeah, so there is something for everyone to do if we want to move towards a food system with as little waste as possible and so that uh, fewer people go to bed hungry. I most definitely agree with you. And I definitely think it's not an individual effort where it's just the consumer's responsibility to change their habits, but also a multidisciplinary systemic level. And definitely the research you're doing on food waste valorization is very important. So thank you very much, Madura, for sharing your research work with us today. Uh, Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. It was such a great discussion and definitely very needed, especially right now where food waste is such a critical issue. So, and thank you all to our Beats listeners as well for tuning into this episode. We hope to see you all next week and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram channels at Beats Research. Stay healthy and see you all next Wednesday.